Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. So here I will show you how to access block between two screens. Well, if you have a block and you want to access it to another screen and retrieve data and how to do that. So over here I have this UI and this is our application page and over here we have this tabs. As you can see, all right. Now this tab over here is using a block or this page navigation bottom navigation using a block and I call it app blocks. Now this app blocks what it does basically actually works with this index so wherever you go it re sets a new index for this tab. Now here we are on this page so on this tab actually and this is a profile tab and over here we have this settings button. Now settings button take us to a new route actually. So one thing you have to know that as we are clicking on these tabs we are not really going to a new route but once you click over here actually you are leaving this app blocks and going to a new route and before we log in actually we want to access this app block before we log out we want to access this app block and do some operation there and how to do that well one thing we just learned that our app is using app blocks over here now this block we want to access over here on this page and actually it's relatively easy. Let's go ahead and find this page. So what is our page? In this case the page is called a settings page. In your case it could be anything. One thing you have to know that settings page actually also uses its own block. As you can see we call it settings block. Settings block. Now over here a lot of you might think okay so I already have a block over here how can I go ahead and use another block and access the context from the other block which is this application block or tab block. How can you do that? Actually it's relatively easy. Now you could access your block from anywhere from another screen as long as your block has been created and injected. Of course you have to make sure that your block has been injected and created at the beginning of your app. So over here I have this all block providers and all block providers actually initiate all the blocks before my application starts up. Anyway now let's come over here inside this settings page. So I'm going to access the application block from here. So here we do context.read. As long as your block is initialized early before you go to a new route as long as it is initialized anywhere else you can always access it if you didn't destroy the block so over here you need to do context.read and mention your block so what is your block so as I said early in our case the block is app block so I'm going to go ahead and put it over here app blocks and then we do the add method add is to add or trigger events now inside this you can call any event so here I'm going to call trigger event and then pass a value as it as I need for this app so actually this is how you access your block between two screens that also means that sharing data now of course it does something in your case this might not be relative directly but the idea is yes you can always access a block from another screen or share the same block share the data between two screens using a block and that's how it works thank you